Hello, this is Ben Peterson at the University of New Mexico, and I'm going to show you Pad++, a zooming graphical interface. Pad++ is a substrate for exploring user interfaces based on zooming. Here we show you one application, PadDraw, written using Pad++ to dem demonstrate several of its, of its capabilities. At first glance, PadDraw is most similar to a standard Sketchpad application you may be familiar with, such as McDraw. Here, however, scale is a first-class parameter of every object, and zooming is a first-class interaction technique. This means that we can create graphics not only at any location, but at any size as well. Here we show creating some graphics at different sizes, zooming in, and creating smaller and smaller graphics, showing that we can have objects of many different orders of magnitude and size. I have been showing you some interactive drawing. With Pad++, you never run out of room because you can always zoom in to get more space. The pen size is inversely proportional to the zoom, so that as you zoom in, the pen gets smaller and you can continu continue to draw so we can create scenes of arbitrary detail. As we zoom out, you can see how small the small objects are compared to the larger ones. The user interface, is controlling panning. The user interface for controlling panning and zooming is configurable, but we have it set up as follows. Using a three-button mouse, the left button is mode dependent. Here we show the left button being used for panning. Before, we were using the left button for drawing, selecting, etc. The middle and right button zoom in and zoom out, respectively. Zooming is speed regulated, so that it is not dependent on com scene complexity. In fact, the speed is controllable as we show here. I can speed the zooming way up or make the zooming way, slow the zooming way down if I want to have more control. In fact, on a slower system, we can replace the smooth zooming with a jump zooming so that a single mouse click can zoom in or out quite a bit. For now, though, Let's go back to smooth zooming. In addition to, to being able to create graphics at any size, Pad++ has some other unique features. One important new widget is the portal. A portal, when being created, looks just like a rectangle. But then, when you select the portal and drag it, you see that you've got, actually got a copy of what was under the portal to start with. If you now go back and draw on the original by, say, moving the mouth, or, say, adding some teeth, you can see the version inside the portal changes as well. In fact, the portal is not a copy, but is an active view onto another area of the Pad++ surface. It is somewhat like a window in that you can have dip several different portals looking onto the same area, but you can also pan and zoom within the portal. In fact, you can see portals within other portals, but recursive portal rendering isn't allowed. So portals are objects that sit on the Pad++ surface that look onto other areas of the surface. Actually, they can even look onto other surfaces, but we won't show that now. Events such as mouse button presses, keyboard presses, etc., all get passed through the portal to the location the portal looks onto. This way, not only does drawing in other places show up within the portal, but you can draw within the portal and the result shows up on the original as well. Pad++ also supports hyperlinks. We'll make some text so that we can link to the graphical face. Here, we type in the word face. However, let's change its color. I just used the color menu that was off to the side. We can now link this text object to any position on the Pad++ surface by bringing up the hyperlink menu. Here, we select the object we want to make active, then we go to the location that we want to link to, and click Apply. From now on, this text object is hot, and if I click on it, it will animate us uh, to the face. This is nice, but we no longer have access to the text link since it is zoomed off of the screen. We solve this by introducing a new concept which we call sticky portals, which we call sticky objects. To demonstrate this, we start by creating a portal, selecting it, and moving it to the corner of the screen. We then take this object and make it sticky with this menu. What this does is lift the object off the Pad++ surface and make it stick to the glass, so that now as we pan and zoom, 
the object stays in the same place. But the object, in this case a portal, is still active. Since it is a portal, we can pan and zoom within it. As you can see, what I just did was to click on the face inside the portal and it animated thus, it animated the main view to the face. Pad++ is a widget um, for Tickle and TK, an interpreted scripting language and graphical user interface library. This means that entire Pad++ applications, such as PadDraw, the applications you are looking at now, can be written in an interpreted scripting language without having to write any C or C++ code. Pad++ maintains its fast animation rates despite being linked to the slow scripting language because all of the rendering is performed by the Pad++ rendering engine written in C++. The scripting code is used to register static graphical data structures and for event bindings which call fast C++ functions. PadDraw is written entirely in Tickle on top of the Pad++ substrate. The demonstration you are seeing now is, written, is running on an SGI Indigo 2 but runs surprisingly quickly on a fast PC running Linux.